Hi everyone, welcome to another quick tips video. So you're painting your model and you think you've got to the end and you're left with one thing. It's the dreaded purity seal. Uh, it's a thing that, you know, I don't really enjoy painting because I've had to paint so many over the years, but it's something that we've got to do. If you collect Space Marines, if you collect uh, Adeptus Mechanicus or Sisters of Battle, they've all got purity seals on them and even some uh, Age of Sigmar miniatures have as well. So, um, and painting purity seals and small script is, is something that we all have to do because they're all over our models. So, uh, so you're left with purity seals everywhere. Like this is a good example. This is my Reboot Gulliman. So he's got purity seals here and here on his chest. And basically you just want them to look convincing like it's got text on there. So I'm just gonna do a couple of those today. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, here on these examples. So I'm going to paint one of them, this one here on the left. This one is going to be a uh, cool purity seal. And this one is going to be a warm purity seal. The reason I'm doing two is because you might want to use this tone of purity seal on a model if it's, got, uh, if it's warm in tone. So for example, a blood angel. And this one here is the norm, normally my go-to purity seal, which would be the warm in tone purity seal. And this is the one I'll use on, on most things. And it will work on Blood Angels as well, but I thought I'd show two. So the first thing, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the paints in the description as I go through, and I'll talk you through the paints I'm using as well, because I've got them all on my palette ready, but I'm putting the palette out of shot because the camera tries to focus on it. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do then is I'm going to give the cool purity seal just a coat of steel legion drab all over I'm working over a black undercoat now because this is most common for me i know some people use different ones but i use a black undercoat most of the time so that's gonna have steel legion drab and the warm purity seal is going to have zandri dust so we start with the parchment first. So this is gonna take a couple of coats to go over. So what I'll do is I'll stop the video and come back once I've got a solid base coat on these. Okay, so the base coat's done now. So we've got uh, Zandri dust there and Steel Legion drab on the cool one. So we're gonna do this one warm, this one cool. So we're on to uh, the highlight now, or well, the, the first layer really. So on the cool one, I'm gonna use Carrick Stone so this is going to basically go over the whole parchment. So purity seals of parchment paper all the way over. But we're not going to go in the crease or where the two pages meet. So we're going to leave the Steel Legion drab showing where these two pages meet. So as long as that shading's in there, don't worry about anything else. So obviously that's going to take a few coats. And then on our warm pure seal, we're going to take a shabty bone and do the same thing. So from the top all the way down, working towards the bottom. So I have thinned the paint a little bit as well, so it's not straight out of the pot. So leaving the Zandri dust there, where the two pages meet. And so this one here on the right is the one that I'll use most of the time. Well, what would be nice if you had a model with lots of purity seals is you mix them up so they weren't all exactly the same. So for, it would might hint that some were added at a different time and some are older than others. So they wouldn't all be placed at the same time. So if you've got a space marine with a few, change the tone between them. It adds a lot of interest to the model. So I'm going to layer those over and then we'll go on to the next highlight after. Okay, so the first layer is done. So we've got a base coat. We've got one layer. So the layer's over the whole of the base coat, just leaving some of that first base coat in the recesses there. So now we're going to actually do a highlight now. Uh, so this one is going to be on the cool purity seal. So the one on the left. 
and this is going to be Rekar Flesh. So when I say cool, so I mean it's not a very warm, warm in tone. And you'll probably see that a little bit more at the end. So I'm going to go, so when I'm painting the Purity Seal, I'm not going to paint it downwards, because if you notice, the it's folded this way, not up and down. If, if there's a crease down, it means it's a ribbon and it's not paper. If the creases are this way, it means it's folded that way and it's actually paper and parchment. So I'm going to work with those lines and I'm actually going to paint this way. So I'm going to focus on the raised areas. And you'll notice that there's creases on the pages. So don't paint into those, just paint into the raised areas. And painting along those lines, it's going to reinforce the texture of that paper as well. It's going to really help. So going along there, you can go over a few times. And we're going to leave some of the first layer showing at the top here. So this is the Rakar flesh, thin down as well with some water. So that's that. And on the Purity Seal, which we're going to make warm in tone, I'm going to use Screaming Skull. And do the same thing. So following the folds, following the direction of the folds. This gives it a nice natural look as well. Okay, so there's that. And we'll go on to the next highlight in a second. Okay, so I'm going to do another quick highlight on these before we start some shading. So on our core cool one, I'm going to use uh, Pallid Witch Flesh. So I'm going to thin that down with some water. So, and we're just going to focus on the very raised areas now, the highest folds. On the purity seal, doing the same thing, following the same direction as the folds. It might seem like a lot of work doing this for a purity seal, but once you've done a few, you get into the flow of it and it becomes a lot quicker. Another trick you can do with purity seals is to paint them all the same like this one here on the right and just use different glazes at the end to glaze over them to change the tone um, and the warmth of the purity seals as well. So it's nice to get some different ones done. Okay, so that was Pallid Witch Flesh. And then on our warm one, I'm just going to mix a, mix a touch of Screaming Skull in with white. It does need a lot, just a little bit on the raised areas. You'll notice I've not got too much paint on my brush. I don't need a lot. Okay, so that's where we're at now. Okay, so we're going to go into some shading. And we'll go straight into that. So I'm going to use uh, Seraphim Sepia on the warm Purit Seal. So lots of parchment, obviously, as it all ages, it gets older. It turns yellowy and orange, so it's nice to get this sepia tone. So normally just wash it towards the top. And down the crease. What, sorry, where the pages meet. 
let it drop in there and you can go over this as many times as you want so you could make a very old stained purity seal if you want well I tend to just put a bit at the top because obviously we're going to put text over this drop a little bit if there's any little nicks and cuts in there that needs to be shaded as well And now we're one that's uh, going to be cool in tone. We're not going to put the sepia on because that's going to basically go against the effect we're going for. So I'm just going to use a little bit of Agrax Earth Shade just at the top, just to give it some definition on that one. And the same again, where the pages meet in that crease down there. Just a bit of shading. I'll use Agrax on this one on the right as well. Just as more shading where it's needed. And a little wash at the top. So after this, we're going to go on to painting the wax at the top. So I'm going to paint one of the wax in traditional red wax. And another one in slightly purple wax, which is one that I like to use because the purple wax will go over most models because we don't have that. We don't paint that many pur purple models. So it's, it's a nice go to wax color to use. It's one that I like to use as well. So we'll do that next once I finish this shading. So we'll come back in just a second. OK, so that shading's done there with those washes. So I'm just going to add a final highlight onto the pewter seals. Uh, parchment before we go on to uh, the wax because it needs a final highlight of white so this is just white mixed again with a little bit of water on the palette and all we're doing here is we're going to do this on both purity seals we're just going to pick out the very edges first Quite good because you can just use the edge of your brush at this point. So just round the edge to start with. Down this side as well. Once you've done the sides, just find the very highest parts of those folds along the paper. Just add a couple of lines in there where you need to, where it's going to be highest. And I'll do the same on the other one. Edges first, and then just a few, few lines where it needs it. So hopefully you guys can see the effect that we've got now. Now we'll do some wax seals. Okay, we're going to paint the wax seals now. So we're going to do this one in traditional red, and this one in the slightly purple pink tone which I kind of like to use as well so traditional red is base coat of corn red just get it in there paint the whole seal obviously we're trying to avoid the parchment we've just painted so these pure seals have always got well most of them have got a little bit of detail in the middle so you don't want to destroy that detail so Try and avoid the paint pooling into the center too much. 
whilst that's drying, we'll go into the other side. So this one is Screamer Pink. Let's go over the whole purity seal again. Okay, so these will take two coats. So corn red again over this one. And scream a pink again over this one. Once this is dry, we're gonna add a wash, which we'll do next. Okay, we've got both ba base coats done on the uh, on the wax seals now, so we're just going to add a quick wash to those. So this is going to be normal oil, and we're going to do that over both now. So this is just to add some definition around the centre detail. You don't need too much, you can just draw a little bit off. So that's all we need, just a small amount. Okay, so we'll let that dry and then we'll start some highlights. Okay, so we're going to highlight the wax now. So on the regular red wax seal on the left, we're just going to use some Mephiston Red. I'm going to thin that down just a touch on the palette. We're going to highlight over that. We're going to leave the shading that we've produced around the centre detail and then I'm going to basically just go around the edge of the seal and dot in where those raised areas of wax are. So it's going to leave some of that corn red in those areas which aren't raised outwards. So where the wax has been pressed outwards, we're adding some highlights there. So hopefully you can see that. And we'll do the same on the other one, but we'll use Pink Horror instead of Mephiston Red. So I'm just going to pick out the skull in the middle. And then just doing the same thing again, going around the edge. Just dotting over those areas that are uh, raised. Okay, so that's the first highlight. And we'll go on to the next one now. So I like to use as a highlight colour, <clears throat> Mushabti Bone. So I'm going to mix some Mushabti Bone in with the Mephiston Red for a highlight. This is probably 50-50 mix, half and half for this one. So Mephiston and Mushabti Bone. And we're just going to highlight the top of the skull and just a little dot at the very top of those bumps which are on the purity seal wax around the edge. I'm going to mix some Mishabti Bone in with the Pink Horror and do the same thing. So again, a 50-50 mix. Just a little highlight on the skull where it needs it. And a smaller dot on that wax. So we've got that going on now. So you notice when you see wax seals, they're quite reflective, so they're very glossy. So I think what we do now is we just take some pure Rushabti bone, quite thin, at the very top of the wax. Just give it a little bit of a reflection point 
and it reinforces that this is a glossy surface and it helps the final finish of the wax seal. So I'm just doing that towards the top. And I'll use the same thing, do the same thing on the purple one as well. So just a very small dot. Okay. So look at it shiny now. Uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to add a quick glaze over each of these with uh, a contrast paint. So with a purple one, we use uh, Volpus Purple. So I'm going to mix a little bit of water with this contrast paint just to desaturate it a little bit. And we're just going to go over the whole thing. So it's just going to put a bit of colour back in. After we've put those highlights on, it's only a small amount, but sometimes it's nice to do. And the red one's going to get flesh tear as red, so that's another contrast paint. Just to pop a bit of colour back into it. Give it some richness. Okay, so once they're dry, we're going to go on to the text part of the tutorial. Okay, so now we've got both pewter seals pretty much painted. Uh, and now we're on to the front part, which is probably the most difficult part, which is adding the text on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, two ways of doing the text. One way is going to be what I think is a much better way. And another way is going to be what I see a lot, uh, which I don't really prefer, but I'm going to show you anyway. So I'm going to show you the way that I like on this one on the right, and the one which is probably something that I see a lot but don't really like too much on this one here so we'll do that one first so what I've done is on my palette I've mixed together here so this is Rhinox Hide <clears throat> and Black Mix it's about a 50-50 mix and it's quite thin on the palette so you can see the sort of consistency that we're going there so we don't want it thick because we just want it to sort of run off the brush nicely so I'm going to move that out of the way <clears throat> so first thing I see is so we're going to destroy this purity seal now, all that hard work. So basically, you can do this if you want to, but basically people just do this and paint lines down the purity seal, like so. And that, that can work, and it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't convince me that that's writing, it's just lines. Um, you know, from a distance, if you've got loads of them, then that's fine. Uh, what I like to do is uh, on the other one, so using the same mix, try and get quite a bit of that mix into your bristles if you can, because obviously you want to keep working with it. So just loading up the brush now on the palette. So starting at the top, in the top left. Okay, and we want to paint in this direction like that. So as if we're writing. We're going to try and give it the illusion that there's text on there. And we're going to slant our lines across. And we're going to tap onto the period seal and then off, we're almost dotting basically lines rather than drawing a line with dotting along. You'll notice that some of those lines are longer and, and it's given the illusion that there's writing on there rather than a straight solid line. <clears throat> The other thing is to make sure that they're spaced out as well. And 
and you'll get and you might have to just add some into the back page as well so try not to use it just pure black for this like a little mix with a bit of brown in makes it look much better and more natural you'll find that you probably want to go in here and there straighten up the odd line And then at the bottom here, you can add a little bit of something just to suggest that there's a signature, which is quite nice to do sometimes. Okay, and once that's done, uh, you'll probably find that those lines have destroyed some of those highlights on this purity seal. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take some of the white and screaming school mix, which we made earlier. And we're just going to basically pick out any little blobs that we don't like just to neaten up the text. Sometimes you might find that you've had a bit of paint run off where you don't want it or there's too much. So we're just taking out some of those lines here and there. And then what you can do is just while you've got those highlights, just to really gradually just go over again a little bit. And what it's going to do is because the minute the text is sitting on top of that paper, you want it to sort of feel like it's really part of it a little bit more. So we're just going to, with a very thin mix of screaming skull and white, just glaze over where those raised areas are, just to knock back that text a little bit. Okay, so like I say, this one here on the right is probably the one I'd go for most of the time. Um, so there we go, that's pretty much it. You can do these lines thinner or thicker, it's really up to you. So it depends on what you're painting and how big the purity seal is. Um, yeah. So there we go. So that's a quick tutorial, but hopefully it's helped and um, give it a go. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.